Today I'm at Spring Orchard at uh, Spring Mill Trails of Westfield. We're going to take a look at three big houses. They all have nice oversized garages. The third one has a really nice big backyard if you like that type of thing. And you know, Zillow just named Indianapolis the fourth hottest housing market in the country. And uh, hey, we're going to go uh, show you why. Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. In front of 18130 Penzi Drive, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath with over 2,100 square feet and a big oversized garage. Let's go take a look. You step in and uh, you've got uh, your main living area right in front of you. Right to our left is a small coat closet. And then you've got the stairway headed up. To your left here, they've got a small office tucked in. And then you have your main living area and dining area. There's actually quite a bit of room here. Uh, standing here at the counter, which is, has uh, four stools. And you've got a dining area, plus a decent sized living area. Plus you've got some space over here if you want to do something different as well. Okay, take a look at the kitchen. You've got black appliances, Formica countertops. You've got a tile backsplash. You do have architectural cabinets, not soft clothes. You've got a uh, small pantry over here. And then you've got a center island as well. So it gives you a good view of the whole uh, living area. This steps right out to a uh, stamped concrete patio. Pretty good size. They've got a hot tub set up, so obviously it's wired for that. Um, this is pretty good from a grilling standpoint. You can bring your food right into the island. Uh, this is fenced most of the way around, but not completely. It's not fenced in that corner back there or along this side. So if you wanted to fence it, you could uh, peg into those different places probably and, and, uh, and complete the fencing come back inside and see what the uh, upstairs looks like. We've got carpeted stairs, cuts down on the noise. Oh, let's see. We've got a loft area. Use it for uh, a fitness room, kids toy room, office, second living area. Got a small bedroom here at the front of the house. Next to it is a bathroom with tub and shower that's shared by the three smaller bedrooms. Another uh, bedroom, this one maybe just a little larger, it's got your attic access here. And another bedroom, it's got a walk-in closet. Come down the hall. Got a linen closet. And then we're into the master. This is pretty good size. Got two nightstands, chest of drawers, a wing chair, and there's plenty of room for some other stuff if you'd like. Ah, oh, bathroom with a double vanity. Toilet, tub and shower. You have one walk-in closet, and you have a second walk-in closet with a window, so you've got natural light. See what your clothes actually look like. Okay. Pretty good size. Okay, I forgot to add over here. We've got a, uh, off the kitchen area here, we have a powder room, and then we have Lights are kind of funny in this house. Wasn't able to figure this one out, but you have your laundry room and your mechanicals. Oh, there you go. Automatic turn on. And then you have this big oversized two and a half car garage. So plenty of room for storage. Looks like they're getting ready to move. So here we have, um, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. You've got uh, 2,129 square feet and it was built in 2018. 
This one's listed by Berkshire Hathaway, but FYI, I can help you with any property in the state, whether it's listed by myself or another broker. And the ticket on this one is 369,700. Uh, there is an HOA of four and a quarter a year, and it does uh, offer up a pool and some other amenities. And we'll take a look at those a little bit later. Let's go see what the next one has to offer. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna wanna pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Okay, continuing on with our tour in the Spring Orchard uh, neighborhood of Westfield, Indiana. We're in front of 18139 Pate Hollow Court. This one's at the end of a cul-de-sac, which is kind of nice and it's white, nice brickwork. It is four bedrooms, two and a half baths. This one is 2,390 square feet, built in 2017. It's a pretty similar floor plan to the one that we were just in. Okay, step inside, you got a wide view of your main living area. Got a coat closet right here and your stairway up. And right to your right is an office. It's got, uh, glass door which is kind of nice this one is primarily carpeted got a big uh, island or not island peninsula here with uh, stools big overhang gives you the big view of your dining area plus your living space um, pretty good space here this is a six top table could be larger if you wanted um, or put a leaf in for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, plenty of room in the living room area. And then you have this space over here that uh, you could use for something or other as well. Uh, a desk or um, a couple chairs for reading. Kitchen here has uh, stainless steel appliances, Formica countertops, you have architectural cabinets. They are, mm, yeah, soft close. And uh, plenty of room in here, that's for sure. You could put a little island if you wanted. And then uh, this is kind of nice. They have a screened in porch. Nicely done with a uh, patio over here. So for your grilling, the backyard is fenced. It's just big enough and not so big that you have to spend all day Saturday mowing it. Okay, what else do we have down here? We have uh, a second pantry. Forgot to show you the first one, but here we go. Um, you have a powder room. You have your laundry area. Mechanicals. Into your garage which is insulated. It's got a four foot bump out on this side and a two foot on that, so you can get out of the vehicles without scraping your elbows. You also have room for, you know, tools and lawn equipment and that type of thing. We've got a water softener here as well. Let's see what else we have. Go upstairs, check it out. Uh, carpeted stairs. I guess most of this house is carpeted. So let's see if they'll let us in here. Okay. The top of the stairs, you do have a loft. Again, you can use this for any kind of use that you want. It's good flex space. This one's pretty good size, actually. You have one bedroom. Then we have the shared bath by the three bedrooms. We have another bedroom that's about the same size, maybe a tad bit bigger. And a third bedroom, pretty decent size. Okay, we come down the hall. Looks like we have a linen closet here. And we're into the master bedroom. Decent size. We have the master bath, 
You've got uh, dual vanities, your toilet, one closet, tub and shower, fiberglass, and then a second master bedroom closet with natural light so you can see what your clothes are going to look like in natural light. Okay, pretty good and decent size master bedroom. Okay, so we've got four bedrooms, two and a half baths. We're looking at 2,390 square feet. Uh, this one is listed by FC Tucker. Again, I can help you with any house in the state regardless of who it's listed with. And the ticket on this one is 400 even. Okay, we've got one more to check out in this neighborhood. Hey, if you have a home to sell, this next section is guaranteed to make you money. On the other hand, if you don't have a home to sell, then uh, feel free to skip ahead to the uh, next home on our tour if you'd like. Okay, if you're undecided about whether you need to buy or sell first, this is not my first rodeo. I'll be glad to talk and share the pros and cons of going one direction or the other, and then you can be the judge for your own self about what works best for your own personal situation. By the way, we offer a free room-by-room -room analysis. There's no cost and there's no obligation. And I guarantee you, that I can help make you money and I can help save you money. My staff and I prepared a short video film about this. It highlights 13 key points that you'll wanna pay attention to because they'll help you sell your home for more money. Plus, I'll share secrets on how I sold my last five homes in a grand total of less than 30 days. Okay, I am in front of 937 Steel Horse Drive in Westfield. Um, this is a five bedroom, three and a half bath. It's got a uh, total of 3,641 square feet. And uh, this one was built in 2018. You're gonna like this big backyard if you like big backyards. Let's go. You enter into a wide foyer here. Right to the right is an office with uh, double French doors. It's pretty good size. I like the double doors. It's just attractive. Plus, uh, if you wanna shut this off when friends and family are over, you, you can do that and then nobody's into your business. Um, some people like to shut the door and say they're done working for the day too, okay? We've got the door to the basement that we'll come back to. And to the left here, we've got a powder room. Okay, uh, this is the main gathering place here. It is good size. It's got a wood-burning fireplace. Place for your dining room table right here. You can have a good size one. Big pantry. And a coat closet, which I guess goes with this section down here, which would be your laundry room. And then your garage, which has got a big bump out. It's a two car, and it's got a big bump out over here, about six feet. And uh, hey, it's finished, and it's got a nice floor. Okay, looking at the kitchen, you've got stainless steel refrigerator and microwave and then black uh, uh, range and dishwasher. You have tile backsplash, hard surface counter, architectural cabinets, not soft close, big view here to uh, the rest of your living space. Okay, here's that backyard I was telling you about. It is good size and it is fenced. A lot of things you could do here. Looks like a pool to me or a soccer field. I'm not sure which. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what uh, it looks like. Window at the top of stairs is nice for light. Good carpeted stairs cut down on the noise. You've got carpet throughout up here. Okay, right to the left, you got one bedroom. Good size. Walk in. You've got a loft, multi-purpose. Use it for whatever you need. The other front bedroom, this one too is good size. And a walk-in closet. And one more. 
walk-in closet, about the same size. Got a bathroom here with tub and shower uh, that's shared by these three bedrooms. Linen closet here. And then we're into the master, which has the French doors. It has a vaulted ceiling, which makes this room even larger than it is. And this room is pretty darn good size to begin with. Lots of space in here. You know, one of the things, because the backyard is so large, you don't have neighbors right on top of you. So if you like a little privacy, elbow room, it's a good thing. Okay, master uh, bathroom. You've got uh, the double vanity, toilet, and a pretty good size master with some nice uh, shelving in here. You got good size shower and a good size linen closet. So pretty good uh, size master ensuite here, I would say. If you ever see a house that uh, has good bones or the basics are there, what you like, but uh, you need something done to make it just yours or to make it right, uh, hit me up. I've got a good list of contractors that do good work at good prices and uh, be glad to help uh, make that home a reality for you. Okay, we're down into the basement. Looks like we're finished. Good size room. Looks like set up for some kind of wiring. But good size room. Could be multi-purpose for sure. Storage room or where you lock the kids in, I guess. I didn't say that. Okay, got a bathroom with a tiled shower. Linen closet, or closet, right around the corner, got your mechanicals and your pumps, got storage under the uh, stairs, and then uh, got a closet here that goes with this bedroom. There is an egress window, so it's safe to get out and legal. So here's your bedroom number five. And right around the corner there is your uh, bathroom number three of three and a half. Okay, so this is a pretty good size house. It's got uh, 2542 square feet over 1099 for a total of 3,641 square feet. Again, it's five bedrooms, three and a half baths, built in 2018. With the big backyard and the oversized garage, in the in the basement you've got a ticket of four forty nine nine ninety nine as always if you'd like to see this house or any others just uh, give me a quick call or text this one is listed by fc tucker but hey i can help you with any house in the state okay this one also was listed by fc tucker if i didn't mention that but the hoa on it is 494 a year it includes a pool clubhouse and a playground the city of Westfield has a lot to offer. Many amenities, not only in its own boundaries, but also in the surrounding area. Westfield is the northernmost suburb of Indianapolis. It sits at the top of Hamilton County, which is the wealthiest county in the state. Highway 31 runs right down the center of it. That's probably the, about the busiest highway in the state other than the interstates. It's about 10 minutes down to Carmel, about the same to 465, which is the beltway that runs around the uh, city of Indianapolis and will take you anywhere you wanna go in the metro area. It's about 20 miles to the downtown circle. That's uh, a, probably about a 45 minute drive. Not that you're probably gonna have a whole lot of need to go all the way downtown unless you're going to a Colts game or a Pacers game or out to eat someplace or something like that. 
Now, State Road 32 runs east and west, kind of cuts through the middle of the city because the city itself is about a seven by seven mile square and you have roads running about every mile north and south and east and west. But 31 and 32 are your key travel routes. Now let's talk jobs. Westfield is largely a bedroom community. Most people work outside of Westfield, either in Carmel or down along the Beltway. But there are some jobs in the schools, in the, a limited number in manufacturing, and then just in your basic services. Okay, let's talk schools. There's six elementary schools, an intermediate, and a middle school, and a high school. Neat thing about the high school, it's got an enrollment of 2,400, which is considerably smaller than most of its neighbors. And some people just might like that a great deal. Now the system is rated A plus by niche.com. It is ranked number six out of 290 public school systems in the state. That puts it in the top 2%, which is just crazy good. It is also home to Guerin Catholic High School with an enrollment of about 800 students. And it is ranked in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the United States year in and year out. So you have two great options for where to send your kids to school. Moving on, let's talk uh, hospitals and medical care. There's a Riverview Hospital basically at the junction of uh, highways 31 and 32. There are many exceptional hospitals located about 15 minutes south in Carmel. These are right on 31. They are, uh, include the IU Health System, uh, Ascension St. Vincent, and the uh, Riley's Children Hospital. Surrounding those are many specialty hospitals like Heart Hospital, Oncology, Women's Hospital, um, Cardiovascular, and there are many, many ancillary medical buildings surrounding these hospitals. There are tons of healthcare opportunities to satisfy all your needs about 15 minutes south of the main part of Westfield. There is a lot to do in Westfield. The city and the organizations have put together a full schedule of events. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of a few of the major ones a little bit later in this video. And any discussion of Westfield has to begin with Grand Park. Stay tuned to get the full scoop, but there's more to Westfield. Looking at Parks and Rec, there's 12 parks with playgrounds, splash pads, disc golf, a skate park, picnic tables, shelters, gazebos, and 94 miles of trails, even an equestrian trail. Now, when it comes to golf, there's only one public course. So you either have to join a country club or go to nearby Carmel or Noblesville, which has many good options for golf. Music lovers have it better off. Cool Creek Park offers six concerts during the summer, and there's the new Jam at the Junction, which has a concert every Friday night during the summer. Connor Prairie is not too far off. It seats 8,000 people and has 12 concerts during the summer, which are very well attended, and everybody has a good time. We're gonna visit there, and we're also gonna stick our head in the door at Ruoff Music Center. Now, Ruoff is not in Westfield, but it is uh, maybe about 30 minute drive away. And uh, it is the gem when it comes to music in the state of Indiana. In 2018, it sold more tickets than any other music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, it is in the top five of ticket sales worldwide. So be sure to stay tuned to see what's going on there. Okay, when it comes to shopping, along State Road 32 to the east are strip centers. To the west, you've got uh, the development of big box stores. And if you go south, right on the border with Carmel, you've got Greyhound Pass. And there are a lot of big box stores, not to mention a lot of other stores. And then right across the street in Carmel, is the Clay Terrace, which is an open air mall with even more stores. So there is plenty of shopping opportunity for people that live in Westfield. Okay, let's talk restaurants. Park Street has a number that come very highly recommended. My favorite is the Italian house. You're gonna need to get a reservation probably about two weeks in advance. It's that good. Now there are a number of uh, brew pubs and wine bistros that get quite a bit of attention. But my other fave is Grindstone on the Monon. Be sure to get the pickle brine chicken sandwich. Sounds kind of odd, but it's really pretty darn good. Now, if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about Westfield, Indiana, or to walk through a home you've seen advertised, just text me or book a call. Okay, let's jump in the ride and go take a look at these world famous attractions. Let's talk the Grand Park Sports Complex in Westfield, Indiana. Evidently, the City Fathers had seen the movie, Field of Dreams, starring Kevin Costner, where he said, if we build it, they will come. If you build it, he will come. Hey. 
Actually, he didn't quite say that, but I'm gonna paraphrase it since that's how it's usually paraphrased anyways. If we build it, they will come. So in 2007, the City Fathers came up with this idea and envisioned Grand Park. Seven years later in 2014, Grand Park opened and it continues to grow. There are 400 plus acres. There are 31 sports fields, 26 ball diamonds. There are three super large indoor facilities and that's just for starters. You put that all together and it makes for one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. Let me repeat that, one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. It is the home of the NFL's Indianapolis Colts training camp and it's a host of untold number of youth and adult sports competitions, not to mention leagues and camps, and it draws athletes and their families from all over the country. It attracts somewhere between one and two million people to the complex and to the city of Westfield. That brings in millions of dollars to the local economy, and it makes Westfield a very busy place, especially during the summer months. The Grand Park Sports Complex is truly a Grand Park. Check out these music and entertainment options. You won't believe all the shows you can take in. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year round. They have a variety of activities, uh, including hot air balloons and, uh, oh, the, what is this, uh, 150 or 200, 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's February and we're not gonna get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime, they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie. And the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July, they had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun. And when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know, some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage. And hey, it's a good time, it really is. I know people that have like tickets for the whole season, all 12 nights. I usually make it out once, maybe twice at the most, but uh, hey, I have a busy summer, so, but hey, it is a good time. Okay, let's uh, finish our music tour with uh, the cream de la cream. Uh, let's go look at Ruoff Music Center. This is Ruoff Music Center. Now it's February and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here, but at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. You've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even and uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles, you can tailgate, you can walk right in. And then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early. You can stay till the very end. You catch the encore, you walk out. It's five minutes to get out of the parking lot and you're another, what, two, three, five minutes home? Hey, it's a great time. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. Housing numbers are in for the month of March, 2024. So what do we have for Hamilton County and the greater central Indiana area? Both uh, close sales and listings picked up speed coming off the winter months, but closings were down 15% and listings down 8% in Hamilton County from a year ago. This was less true throughout central Indiana as a whole, but regardless, inventory is still tight. Good houses that are priced right are now selling within about a seven to 10 day range. But the overall average is like five to six weeks, which means it sure helps if your house is in good condition in a good location and priced right. The median price in central Indiana is now 293,000. And in Hamilton County, that number is 426. And final prices settled at just like one to 2% less than asking price. Hey, so what does that all mean for you? Number one, prices are holding steady. 
Number two, lenders are reporting that more buyers have come in for pre-qualifications than they have for many months. Number three, my phone tells me that things are changing. It's been blowing up the last 10 days. And number four, we had a new listing last weekend. They had 19 lookers the first weekend and eight offers over list. Hey, the market is back in full swing. If I can be of service, be sure to give me a quick call or text. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do a tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.